So I want to share some stuff with my fellow agents. I want to take some panic out of the market for everybody just a little bit. First thing, we are, we are currently in 2022 experiencing our second best appreciating year in the history of the triangle. We'll finish up this year right at 17%. We're following on the heels of our greatest time ever in 2021, where we were at 22%. If we look back in history, in 2006, we had a 12% annual appreciation. That's the only time over the 40 years I've been in business that we've had a 12% or greater appreciation other than the past two years. This year coming forward, 2023, economists are predicting we'll have another 12% increase in 2023. So if we're looking at the market as a whole, we've got the best four years ever we're comparing ourselves to and we'll rank fourth in the best ever coming for 2023. The problem is, guys, for those of you who've just gotten into business in the last five years, you've never really been in a market that was a normal market. A normal market in the triangle appreciated at 3% a year for the past 40 years. We're nowhere near that. We're four times that currently. If we look at MLS data, and I want to share some dates with you too and kind of dispel some more rumors. June 1st, a lot of you don't know what happened June 1st. And I know my clients don't know, but I know most realtors in the Triangle don't know either. We merged with the Longleaf Pines MLS on June the 1st. So if you were to pull up stats in the Triangle, one day later, which the Triangle Business Journal and a lot of other people who report numbers on the Triangle did. Unfortunately, they saw a slanted view for the first time because Pine Level MLS had a little over 2,300 active listings going into June 1st, which was almost doubled our MLS in one day. But when we're looking at it, we had outside people looking, saying that, hey, the market's doubled. We've got double the number of houses on the market that we've had. It absolutely wasn't true. Another thing happened that I want to make sure some of you remember on May 26. So all these dates are kind of lining up at the same time. On May 26, we stopped having coming soon days not counting as days on market. So roll forward to June 2nd when all these all this data was viewed, 900 listings that were in coming soon status went active immediately. If you combine and add those numbers up, it puts you to just over 6200 listings, which is exactly where we were at that time. But consider we didn't double the number of units we had on the market. We brought another MLS in. At the same time, we brought all those listings that had been in coming soon status and brought those active. So it may look like that's what happened when it's not. Today, currently, we have 6,521 current active listings. That's between Longleaf Pines MLS and the former Triangle MLS and our combined number, we're at 6521. We're, last year, in the previous 12 months, we have closed and pended 49,666 sales in our local MLS. That means currently we have a 1.5 month supply of housing. Okay, that 1.5 month supply is definitely not a normalized market. I hear some of you going out telling buyers that, hey, the market's leveling out. It's not a real seller's market anymore. That's simply not true. We are still in an extreme seller's market, extreme seller's market. 
until we get to a six to seven month supply of homes, we will not be in an equilibrium state. So this is still as good a seller's market as I could imagine. With the 12% pending appreciation coming next year, there is no reason for someone not to put their homes on the market. But the other thing I want to dispel is that we've been in this slump based on interest rates the last few months. It's been a contributing factor, but actually, guys, the election was causing a lot of people to just sit and pause. For some reason, some of us, and doesn't matter which side of the aisle you fell on, we were waiting for the world to collapse after election day. Well, when it didn't collapse, interest rates improved slightly. Buyers went out again in droves. My own local team sent Thursday of last week, which was Thanksgiving, and I've still got one more day to go to make a total week. We sold 26 homes in, in the past seven days, which is a normal market for us in the best of times. The other thing I'd like to tell you is the top end of the market is the healthiest I've ever seen it. Not even close. Uh, all of our resale stuff, I keep hearing about all these negotiated prices. And I can tell you that the most we've negotiated off of any home we've listed in, in the past three months is 2%. But our average for that period of time is 101% of asking. So we're still seeing above market numbers all the way across the board. Guys, it's our responsibility when we're the agents in the triangle to really dig into the data before we start giving people answers that aren't accurate. We want to make sure that we're getting consumer confidence where it needs to be. If we're in our fourth best all-time market and we have literally no supply of homes, if we today currently have 6,521 active listings, but we've got to sell 49,666 just to keep up with what's going to sell in a 12-month period. We simply don't have enough inventory, guys. We want to encourage everybody out there who isn't an agent, call your agents, get your home on the market, and don't wait till the spring market like everybody else is. The market's hot right now. Interest rates have already declined over a half a percent in the last month and a half, and buyers are out buying again. With appreciation still on a 1% per month climb, home ownership is getting further and further away every month you wait. But the other good news is this time of year in December is normally not a great month or not a month that a lot of people are making their listings active. At, at JAG, we tell all of our sellers every December, now is the time to put your house back on the market because if we're waiting, we're gonna wait till there's much more inventory on the market in the spring. Yes, there'll be more buyers, but you'll have more inventory to compete with. It's a level playing field right now, so why not go out and put your home on the market. There just aren't enough. We're, we're searching for inventory every day. And also, listen, I want to make sure you're clear. That active number I gave you in the MLS is also including an awful lot of new construction that hasn't even begun construction yet. It's also including a lot of things that are projected builds that national builders have put out there because their banks have asked them to put their inventory on the ground. So if we look at the real numbers and dig in deep, there just simply aren't enough listings, guys. Hey, what I want to do is let's all have a great end to this year. Let's have a Merry Christmas. No matter what, this will be my first or second best year in the history of my company. And I don't think it's any different for most of my friends out there. I think, unfortunately, those of us who just jumped into the market believe what we hear is happening in other parts of the market. 
stories aren't true here. What I would like for you to do instead is really focus your attention to the triangle itself. Look at what's going on. We have over 30,000 new jobs announced in the triangle with four other major corporations that have announced in the last 60 days that they're coming to the triangle. Why would we think this is a bad time to buy? Couldn't be. As those additional people move here to the triangle, prices are going to continue to climb. For those of you who are already living here, put your home on the market. Start your planning right now before everybody else jumps back in. The iBuyers on pause, that's true. And thank goodness they are. So real homeowners have an opportunity right now, a, a narrow window of opportunity, to be out there without that investment buyer collecting again. When they see next year that the appreciation stays strong at 12%, the I buyer is going to jump back in. They've never had this 12% appreciation, not but four times in the last 40 years. So if that's true, why once they see it, won't they jump right back in? They will. Unfortunately, that'll again impact whether or not local buyers can buy or not. Right now, you got your chance. Every buyer out there should be going in. But don't write ridiculously low offers because you'll do the same thing to yourself. You'll lock yourself out. If our average listing is still selling at 101% of asking, find homes you like that you believe are priced reasonably and make a strong offer. Give your clients the best chance to win. If you set them up for failure with these ideas, they're going to get all this money off right now. That's just simply not true. Now, I will tell you, there is a segment of our market the National Builder Inventory that is taking some deep cuts on their inventory right now. Not because they can't sell them in the triangle though guys, because they're trying to make their numbers shoot up here in the triangle to make up for the sales they feel they're losing nationally. Again, another problem is we're having trouble building homes. It takes a lot longer. So these national guys while their numbers are down for the year, it's because they just can't build the houses. Reducing the prices, these twenty-five dollars and $30,000 I'm seeing some of our national guys do, will not increase sales numbers. That's what their hope is because the people were already paying their sales numbers. What they're trying to do is increase demand in the triangle for their product to fill a national void. If it works, I'll be surprised. But get your buyers out there to take advantage of it while it's happening. It won't be happening for long. But again, guys, hey, I want to wish everybody a Merry Christmas. Not a lecture. Just like I want you to feel comfortable. Hey, quit. If, if your reaction to the market is bad, your market will be bad. If you instead look at the facts... You can't do anything but smile. Next year is going to be the fourth best year we've had in the history of the triangle. And the triangle's pretty cool, so that won't be bad. Merry Christmas. See everybody later.